oh boy oh yeah never do this alone morning everyone happy sunday morning at the lake with my buddy and there's runners inspiring us and this is part of the uh the sunday morning recover and regenerate protocol so getting in the lake why because we know that stress increases inflammation systematic inflammation worked really hard this week a lot going on it's all good but still working you know like so there's that accumulation of metabolites in your body and there's some reasonable evidence it seems to suggest that cold water immersion reduces inflammation so we are going to do that this morning you can actually see there's some ice forming on the water so this is going to be tough but uh, doing hard things also makes you more resilient so working on building up that capacity as well all right i will see you from in the water Never do this alone. All right, my back's straight up against the ice. And now. So, when you enter the water, obviously cold water hits your skin which funny enough your skin have these things called nocio receptors which interpret cold the same as pain so it's a full body pain response which is kind of fascinating to experience mike is ex experiencing that right now and ignoring me because he's upset for me dragging him into the lake on sunday morning and uh that pain response then triggers the release of a cascade of hormones involved in the stress response, which, funny enough, improve your mood because norepinephrine, which is one of those hormones, uh, actually improves mood. So later on today, not right now, I will feel infinitely better. Second practice is that uh, there's vasoconstriction, which is that the, my skin is constricting to try to drive blood into my internal organs, which is uh, an interesting experience. And then my nervous system is also now, right now, shifting from sympathetic stress into parasympathetic recovery and regeneration. So I was about, I'm watching my heart rate right now. So my heart rate on the beach was about 80 or 90 when I was doing my breath work. And now it's at 70. And I know from a previous experience, it will drop down to about 45 so once we're in here then the game becomes how much can you consciously relax despite the fact that you're under a significant amount of stress right like there's the ice right chunks of ice so we're under stress then the question is can you relax and consciously calm down which is an incredible practice because Literally, that's what we have to do in difficult situations all week long. I do public speaking, it's stressful, it's scary to be up on stage and have people look at you. There's meetings, there's tests if you're in school, there's conversations that we have to have, right? Like there's all of the things in our lives that are stressful. But when you learn to consciously do psychological practices like calming down while you're in very difficult situations like you know an icy lake then the stuff that happens during the week becomes a whole lot easier to manage then the third piece of the puzzle which is a bit more long term is that also right now because my body thinks that i'm under in danger which legitimately actually i am um it is releasing white blood cells into my bloodstream anticipating that 
because I'm in fight or flight right now, because of this cold icy water, despite the fact the practice is to let that go and shift into parasympathetic, it's preparing for something to go wrong, which means like ice just sticking into my back right there. Um, and that flood of white blood cells fights off things like colds, flus, and other upper respiratory tract infections. So actually, funny enough, there's research, it's not funny, it's just research, that shows that when we take a 30 second cold shower on a daily basis, that we have a lower risk for upper respiratory tract infections. So although I love to get into icy lakes, just because I like doing hard things with friends, he's in a much better mood now than he was before. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I like to do hard things, that little burst of cold first thing in the morning is actually something that's going to help us to cope with this a little bit better and improve our immune system so that we don't get sick. So, lots going on. I'm really cold, so my brain isn't working super well. Hopefully it works a little bit better. Say hi to Mike. Hi, He's everyone. my lifeguard. Final piece of this puzzle is never do this alone because it's actually legitimately dangerous. So have a great day, everybody. That was a long video, but hopefully it was fun to watch and uh, we'll see you soon.